Hello everybody, um, this is a MPCNC update. Uh, I've not been on this project for probably two or three weeks because of Christmas and the holidays and whatnot, but I, uh, back on it the last couple of days, wanted to get the wiring worked out. So, as I showed in a previous video, I think, um, inside here is the control board. There's a hole right here to access the uh, USB connection. And then of course the control, the handheld control right here, and it ties into it. And uh, this stuff, I, all pr I printed all of this on my new uh, Creality CR10S Pro 3D printer. Um, and I got everything wired up. And my thought was is to wire it all up onto a junction box like this using these DB9s, um, I suspect that I might have overcomplicated my life, but that it works, so for now I'm gonna go with it. I did have a problem with this stepper motor here, uh, the X1 stepper motor, and as you can see, I've got vinyl tape here and, and vinyl tape here, because I had to get into this harness. Um, I got a second harness from the factory, and it was pinned out 180 degrees out from all the other harnesses. So I, I was having trouble with the stepper motor. I talked to my buddy Jason about it today. Uh, the stepper motor is doing all kinds of weird things. Um, but I troubleshot it down, figured out what was going on, took the, took the plug apart in here, repinned it, and now everything's good. So this thing is now 100% um, functional. Um, I put in these stops right here. You can see there's one and there's another one right there and they work these homing switches right here. You can see on the side of the carriage. And uh, I didn't know, I, I didn't even know how to make the homing work. I just kind of took a stab at it and oh man, I nailed it the first time. I, you know, I'd rather be lucky than good and I'm definitely lucky. So I'm gonna go ahead and home this. Now, one thing I have to do, um, and I'm gonna home it and demonstrate it, but the, the z-axis here it does not have any way to know where it is so the z-axis will continue to drive towards home until it binds up and breaks something um, there's no micro switch like we have here typically what guys are doing is they're they're um, manually moving this down moving the uh, tool down to the bed here and they can either like if you're using a um, if you're using a DeWalt router and you had a uh, had a uh, end mill in there, you would take an alligator clip with a wire and clip it on there, and then you'd have like a, a flat piece of metal down on the table here with uh, the other wire, and then those two wires would connect up to these two pins right here, which when the two pieces of metal touch each other, it basically completes the circuit and tells it, you know, you're home now. So um, absent of that, I'm going to auto home this, but I'm going to have to take something and Put it on these two pins and short them out um, once this thing starts to move once the the z-axis starts to move so i don't try to drive it right through the the table of the machine and break things but the other the x and y axis they're going to work off of these micro switches and these little blocks right here and uh yeah we could give a demo you're going to see it move for the first time i got my screwdriver in my hand so i can short things out so i'm just going to basically i'm going to hit the switch here and we'll watch it start to home and hopefully this happens and I don't look foolish. So here we go. Let's go here to motion and go to auto home and here we go. We're gonna auto home it. So let's see what happens. And now you can see the Z axis is driving down and I'm just gonna short these two pins and I'm gonna stop it before it hits the table. So there you go. That was an auto home and uh, it works. What I haven't figured out now is that now that it's homed, I can't get this controller to, to move it um, any further. So there's more, there's more reading to do. Uh oh, rehomed it again. So let's, let's short that out. Stop. Um, there's more reading to do. So I got to figure that out. But the thing is, it's, it's, it's moving, it's working. Oh, there you go. I got it to work. So there it is, there's the x-axis going and then I can, uh, I can come back and auto-home that and it should auto-home that x-axis right back to, um, to where it belongs. So there it goes, it's coming back. 
It's gonna do that one. It's gonna do the other axis, and then it should do the Z. There it is, and I'm gonna short it out. So we've made it, we've made some progress. Um, I hope this video makes sense to y'all. Um, the next thing to do is start getting some software onto my laptop, or on my desktop, I should say, and um, figuring out how to interface this thing with, uh, with uh, some software to drive some G-code and maybe, uh, maybe start cutting some stuff. So there's the update. MPCNC, it's moving right along.